Hey you guys, welcome back to a new reaction video. My name is Ray. Today we are watching Saw Luminati again. He's reacting to this uh, YouTuber girl must be stopped. So if you're brand new, dude, the King of Sunset Beach. Well, that's the classic intro. That's the old intro. But he get demonetized, so he can get paid if he's playing this song because it belongs to Chief Keep. Do we so in the building? Hoodie so the gazer. Solar geyser, geyser in the building. In the building, man. Simple. Simple. <laughs> now check this out. This a very, this one of the most serious videos I have dropped in a very, very, very long time. And this video, I can't believe what I just seen, and I can't believe this shit been going on this long. But it's attached and it ties to a lot of stuff that I've been talking about on my main channel a couple years ago about a particular streamer. And it ties to a lot of stuff that I've been talking about on my spiritual channel since day one. Now, a lot of y'all from my spiritual channel, y'all know I said that the LGBTQ community was only created for them to get closer to the kids. I told y'all they were starting to send uh, tra trainees and transgenders to schools to talk to kids. I talked about all this years ago, right? Pride Month just passed. It put a spotlight on what's happening. They got... Bro, they got men dancing with thongs and all type of shit at parades, but they got kids at the parades. They got kids running around in schools talking about you can be whatever you want. Like, listen, the whole every like I'll be on here playing games and playing basketball and working out and just bullshitting around. But it's a war. It's a spiritual war going on on our consciousness. Still. Yeah, bro. And I've been doing the same shit, too. I've been just trying to get in shape. The whole every like I be on here playing games and playing basketball and working out and just bullshitting around, but it's a war. It's a spiritual war going on on our consciousness, and they want the kids. Like this war has gotten so serious, it's a clash between the LGBTQ community, bro. The regular get, bro. Listen, it's a whole group on Twitter, big as fuck. Y'all probably never knew that a lot of the LGBTQ, like dude, the regular gays, bisexuals, etc. They have no, they don't want nothing to do with the LGBTQ community. I've been telling y'all this for so long. It's a whole group on Twitter called, I think it's called Gays Against Groomers. And these are regular gays who you won't even know gay. Who, like the regular gay, before it was like made into like some crazy shit. It literally is a whole bunch of regular gays, bisexuals who coming together to go against the LGBTQ community. Y'all probably never knew it was. That community is like, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, bro, it's, it's a movement. It's planet literally to take over kids. It has, it is not, it has nothing to do with y'all gay motherfuckers. If you gay bisexual, we don't give a fuck. You ain't gotta be that to be in that community. Everything has been shared to, everything has came to light. But one of the things that I want to show y'all, it's a YouTuber who just got exposed. Her name is Colleen Billiger or something, Right. She just got exposed for some crazy, 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 crazy stuff that she's been doing to kids. And before the, the particular, it was a it was a young lady, a woman who came out speaking on her, who blew it up. Before that, they was pushing the fuck out of her. Anybody who was attacking kids in a, a negative, like changing their mind or gender way, they pushed them to the fullest. Nothing happened to them. The only way they get exposed is if they probably black. EDDDP. It's caught on camera type shit. That type stuff. But behind closed doors, I was just talking to y'all about fucking Disney with DDG Girl. Behind closed doors, everything happened behind closed doors and everything is to attack kids. Remember that clip I showed y'all in the video with DDG? Remember I showed y'all that clip of how they made a cartoon strictly based off Epstein Island? Now, let me show y'all these clips of this YouTuber that just got exposed. Whoa! Did you hurt your tukey? What's a tukey? What's... She hurts her tukey permanently. You need to protect the tukey. The first clip. Now, ask yourself. The fuck? Why is she talking to a little girl? <laughs> Whoa! Did you hurt your tukey? What's a tukey? What's... She hurts her tukey permanently. You need to protect the tukey. With the first clip, now ask yourself, why is she talking to a little girl for a YouTube video to kids about hurting her private area? 
but they add this pedophilia ass humor to make it okay. They add this weird humor that these fucking old rich men love. They love that that humor that makes you laugh. Like you can manipulate the kids as long as it's funny, so people won't take it serious. But it's actually affecting the kids. That's just the first clip. Look at this. Hold on, I got a snake. <laughs> Was this in your self health book? Do you want a cheese bone? Um, I'd love them. I can't believe I'm reaching in there right now. <laughs> That's a little ass boy. She did a whole comedy skit in front of the fan. You hear the bot ass fan? <laughs> Fucking NPC bot ass fans. They shouldn't even be here. <laughs> the sun, no. <laughs> I agree, man. They shouldn't be here, man. Comedy <laughs> skit in front of the fan. You hear the bot ass fan? <laughs> Fucking NPC bot ass fans. They shouldn't even be here. Can't take the sun nothing. <laughs> but listen, let That's me tell you this. This motherfuckers so, can't take the sun. sun. And he's absolutely right, man. They can't take the sun. They shouldn't be here. Fucking NPC bot ass fans. They shouldn't even be here. Can't take the sun nothing. But listen, let me tell y'all this. So, <laughs> can't take the sun nothing. See that. She did a whole comedy spit, comedy skit, added a little pedo humor. They love that. They push those type people. She manipulating the fuck out of this little kid. This little kid don't know nothing. He just going with the, the lines that they wrote him. But this is supposed to be funny. How is that funny? How? Telling a little boy to reach in your pants. How was that funny? If it was a man telling a little girl to do that, what would have happened? That's just a you don't get no pass. <laughs> you don't get no pass. But look at this clip. A naked child just ran up to me. A little boy with a little pee pee. Um, he's laying on the sand right now. <laughs> I'm trying to get him. This bitch just said a naked child ran up to me with his little pee pee. Then it proceeds to try to film him. Man, can any of y'all girls fight? Somebody needs to beat this bitch. Bro, <laughs> how is she not in jail? How y'all been letting this go on for this long? Like the same energy y'all got towards all these, these fucking, these YouTube boys who been getting exposed like EDDP and Carlos Carson and when all these other dudes, y'all need that same energy for these hoes. The same, the same energy for these girls need to be imprinted now. This is not okay. But she didn't finish. Look. He wanted me to blow his bubbles. Not okay, man. I agree with you. What does it mean to blow out his bubble? Y'all don't think this real? Now listen, do y'all remember? I dropped a video on Biden Ross. Y'all remember this? And I said they pushing him to the kids. Y'all remember he was doing all that weird stuff. He was emasculating guys. He was emasculating all the black niggas. He was emasculating all the rappers. Remember I told y'all how they keep pushing him and he, they making him bigger and bigger and bigger to manipulate the kids. You had random kids on TikTok doing like crazy stuff. And then out of nowhere, when he stopped doing all that and wanted to become positive and he started, you know, vibing with Andrew Tate, etc. When he started doing all that, um. it took then Twitch wanted him off their platform. But when he was doing all the crazy stuff, they was pushing him. He was the best. But as soon as he wanted to become a little bit positive, they kicked him and banned him off their platform. Now, a lot of y'all don't understand. This is very serious. Y'all have no clue how deep this shit is. Y'all have no clue what these kids going to be like in the next 10 years, bro. They are going to be so... Bro, listen, they are going to be so, like, destroyed mentally, physically. Like, it's not possible for a kid to make decisions on a, what they want to be. But, bro, I'm telling y'all, after they done doing this, next, it's going to be okay for these men to do whatever they want with kids. Mark my words. It might be the next five, ten years. Like they saying, all of this stuff is considered like a mental health thing. It, it, it's like a, a mental illness. You get what I'm saying? That's what they calling it when you're doing shit with kids. It's a mental illness. Like, y'all need to protect y'all kids, bro. That's all I'm saying. 
This is a YouTuber that just got exposed. And did y'all see her apology? Here go her apology. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a... <laughs> Give no fucks. A part of me feel like she going through a shaman ritual. Because if she been doing this for this long, and now all of a sudden people paying attention, you mean to tell me her fan base never found nothing wrong with that? Never? 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 Bro, like, what? She, her apology was her singing, my nigga playing a violin, or whatever the fuck that shit is. She gives zero fucks about you kids. And yes... People came, literally, she had the people that she manipulated. Like, I just showed y'all a little bit of the, the few kids. Some came out speaking up right now, how they affected by it. That was her apology. They said, man, they going through it. You know, they, it, it's been tough for them. Meanwhile, look at her. <laughs> protect the kids, man. We got to protect the kids. We got to protect the youth. It's a war on the youth. It's a war on your consciousness. And the number one thing they want is the kids. I just showed y'all everything y'all need to see. Y'all could do y'all own research and start tapping in, man. Everything is not play play all the time. To be honest with you, most of us YouTubers and streamers are just distractions. So you don't see what's happening in the real world. But that's what's taking the place. That's what's taking place right now. Take care of yourself, man. I love you. Spiritual soap. Cancer. Cancer. Signing out. Hey, a spiritual soul. I thought it was so Illuminati. Guys, I really hope you did enjoy our ending there. Make sure you subscribe <clears throat> and drop a like. But this video was really um like in, like eye opening. I didn't even know a lot of this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why I love this guy, man. And um, have a great rest of your day. Gazer.